Hey guys, what is up? It has been quite a bit, quite a bit of time since I posted a video up here on my channel and that's totally fine. I've been very busy, but I figured I would make a video telling you why, <laughs> what is going on. If you are new here and you clicked on this because you searched for the title or whatever, hello, I'm Shannon and I wrote a book. Um, to any of you who have been following me for quite some time, you guys know that I've been writing a book. So I've had a lot of questions recently on Instagram, on Facebook, some on here, but not so much. Also, sorry for the noise, but it's just so nice that I have to have like my windows and doors open. So, and let's get into it. Last year in April, I started writing a book. I have been for the past 17 months now, um, separated from my husband and there's a lot that has gone into that I had a video last year that talked about all of that stuff that was going on but I'm in a very different place since that video and in April last year I started writing a book and I finished it the beginning of February this year I really thought that writing the book was gonna be the hardest part but that's like really not the case after I finished writing I had to decide if I was going to go into self-publishing or if I was gonna find a publisher or like how I was gonna go about doing this. Obviously, like I've never written a book, I've never published a book. Like I never even was really great at writing like five page papers in college. So writing a full book was a lot to me. And once I finished it in February, I like, <laughs> I started crying like tears were coming down my face because it was a huge 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 accomplishment for me I'm so proud of it so basically I've had people ask me questions what is it about when is it coming out what does it look like is it going to be ebook or is it going to be like a physical book is it gonna be limited edition like what like what's going on that's what I'm gonna do with this video the reason I have not posted here on YouTube in a while is because I've been putting all of my effort and energy into finishing everything that I need to finish for this book so that I can get it published. When I was going through this separation, because I'm still married, I'm not divorced, um, I'm separated. And when I was going through this, I had a really hard time finding anything helpful that could help with my situation, like my specific situation. And a lot of people think, well, like, Oh, you know if if I'm going through this like no one else is going through that and that's not the case so many people go through the exact same thing that you go through and they either never talk about it or you end up hearing it on you know blogs or podcasts or YouTube channels or you know whatever books and so I found a lot of books about getting divorced or getting a divorce as a Christian or staying Christian after a divorce or how to forgive people or how to handle an affair or how to handle um, fighting in your marriage or everything but but what I was going through. There's so many books on divorce. There are so many things that go directly towards divorce. Now if you're divorced or if you're leaning that way like this is no judgment on you but that isn't where I was nor where I'm going and so um, I couldn't really find anything to help me like with the things that I was going through and I had read two books that sort of talked about some of the things that I was going through but still not fully if you have like a problem that no one else has been able to fix yet that's usually like how you become like a successful entrepreneur or whatever so like people that you know had issues with tying their shoes created like the velcro shoe and then you know because they needed that for their grandma or whatever i don't know i don't know who came up with that but i don't know why that's <laughs> the first thing that came to my head but it is anyway but usually if you have like an issue that you haven't been able to find um a solution for that's usually what you can you know write a book for or create a product for and so that's what i decided to do so i decided to write a book to kind of explain everything that I went through as I was going through it. So it's a very different type of book. It's not like I waited until I got to the very end of everything that's been happening and then I decided to write stuff. And it's not like, oh, do this instead of doing this. But basically all of my struggles, all of my temptations, all of my um, 
battles and things that have happened to me since being separated from my husband that's what I wrote about. I made a lot of mistakes. I did a lot of things that I wish I would have done differently. My hopes is that this book can help somebody else going through similar situations. Not everyone's answer is divorce. Sometimes it is. Sometimes that's the best thing. Sometimes even if that's not what you want, that's what your spouse wants. I just kept feeling like that's not really the path that I was going on. I wanted, I wanted different answers. I wanted different problems solved going through all of this while also trying to fix my relationship with God and get closer to God and you know really become a better Christian and a better mother it, it's been hard and there hasn't been a lot that I've found to help me or to, to guide me in some kind of direction to tell me what to do like it's, it's been kind of difficult and so I my hopes for this book is to be able to help other women who have had issues in their separation and because some I, you know I I thought in the very beginning I really thought that this was gonna be like two weeks of us being apart like we were just mad at each other and like whatever and now here we are 17 months later and it's still a very massive work in progress and we have kids and you know it's there's so much that goes into everybody's situation and not there's not just like one right answer that like is for every single person you know if that makes sense like everybody doesn't like the same flavor cake you know what i'm talking about some people don't even like cake <laughs> but like you can't just sit there and say well the answer is divorce period like sometimes that's not it sometimes there's so much else that goes into all of this even if you end up getting divorced, there are so many things that you go through in the process and I wanted to talk about those things. In this book, I talk about temptation, I talk about forgiveness, I talk about relying on God versus running to the world for answers because the way that I saw it before my husband and I got together, I was a very, very, very different person. My belief, my faith, all of that was very different than what it is now. So I took a very different approach this time and I, I personally knew that I had two choices. I could spiral out of control, I could run to the world, spiral, drink, do everything that the world tells me that I have every right to do, or I can go the other way and just put everything in God's hands because what is my alternative? You know, and sometimes it's, it's you hear so many other people's opinions of, well you should do this or i would have ran away or i would have gotten divorced i would have left him i would have moved back to florida i would have done this this and this and it's there's so many opinions out there that sometimes it starts to fog up your thinking and sometimes it starts to block out god's voice and sometimes some people don't they are running out of options and they want help and they want an answer and if hopefully if you are anything like me when i got married i got married with the intention of staying married i didn't get married to one day possibly not be married <laughs> like i took my vows very seriously i took you know the the for better or for worse and you know till death do us part not that that could be taken in a creepy way like nobody's dying here but you know what i'm saying like it's there's so many opinions and sometimes you can't you can't block them out sometimes because they're so loud and so i wanted this book to be not only a guide for people going through something similar but maybe if if my story can help you get through even a little bit of what you're going through in your separation or your divorce you know then that's what i want for this book i want this to be able to help women who are struggling in these areas because when i looked for things i could not find not necessarily an answer it wasn't like i was looking for someone to tell me what to do i was getting that enough i was getting so many people telling me what i should and shouldn't do i was looking for ways to get through these things i hadn't um been in like the dating scene in over 10 years i had never hadn't been with any other men in over 10 years i hadn't gone on dates or gone to parties or gone to do any of these things and here i am you know 30 31 and i felt like i had to figure out who i was again you know because i was 
one person for so long with my husband that I became this different person now I have to be like a single mom now and like I had to figure all these things out and it was very very hard and I couldn't find answers and I was searching for answers in books and I was searching for you know someone to help me through what I was going through and I couldn't find it so I created it I'm not gonna sit here and say like oh I got through this all on my own I didn't I if I would have not run to God I would probably not even be here today like I would have let it consume me completely probably been depressed like I don't know where that would have led me because of who I was 10 years ago that would have led me down a different path but like I said since I am different I I wanted different results I wanted a different outcome so I went I chose a different direction and um, God got me through everything and and gave me this happiness and this joy and this security and has like pushed up my faith so much and I've grown so much in the past 17 months it's it's bizarre like it's insane how much I've changed I can feel it I can see it my kids can see it my kids have told me that there's been a change in me and it's just I, I really truly want this book to just help people and really speak to them because maybe maybe they can maybe there are some people that won't be able to relate to every single chapter in this book but I know that there are a lot of people who have had issues with different things in this book if that makes sense I want to be able to tell you guys accurately like some of the things that I've gone through I've been doing so much editing I just finally finished my final um draft edits of you know grammar and spelling and things I wanted to add in things I wanted to take out citing things all of that stuff I finally finished that and now I'm actually moving on to the actual design of the book that's the fun part but it's a very very tedious and it's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be I have to I've had to learn how to format an ebook and format a regular book and figure out where I'm doing everything and colors, designs, fonts, um, the title and the subtitle. Like the title has been locked in stone since day one, but the subtitle has been very hard. Now I have to work on a book blurb to like talk to people about it and um, and about the author section and all of this different stuff, which is totally fine and I'm excited for it. It's just taking a lot longer like I didn't expect it to take this long I thought you just wrote a book and then like you were done <laughs> it's not even remotely like that but the process itself has been a lot of fun so um in here the first two chapters I kind of start I kind of talk about our story and um how we met in general but like what happened that like led up to our separation and kind of what's going on still to this day um and then i talked about losing control a lot of women have a lot of issues letting control go to someone else a lot of people in general like to have full control of everything and i was like that so i talk about how to be able to let control go then i talk about giving god everything just like whatever your situation is to be able to let it go and give it to him we talk about forgiveness fasting prayer fear and shame and then we also talk about some temptations and things that will definitely come at you while you are trying to rely on god for answers and for guidance and then um a few other chapters as far as i know my goal right now is to have an ebook a paperback and a hardcover copy of the book because everybody is different i prefer hardcover books a lot of people prefer paperback a lot of people have kindles and ipads and stuff and they would prefer an ebook and so i'm gonna make all three i figured why not if i can do it if i have the resources then i'm gonna do it and so i have fully finished the front cover for the book and also for the ebook because you don't need much other than that but now i have to actually format the spine and back cover of the book and then i'll have to figure out the like flaps on the inside of the hardcover book and then um i also am going to be doing some coloring and design today and working on the different like chapter headings and stuff like that and uh so that's that's kind of what I'm working on I've been so busy putting 
everything that I have into this book and I'm already so proud of it but it's not done <laughs> so my goal honestly what's today the second today no today is April 3rd so my goal is to have the book fully finished and published by like the 30th the latest like I would love to have it out this month this month is a very big month for me this month has a lot of meaning and I would love to have this book out this book is when I like or this book this month is would be a year since I started writing and this month is also um, the month I got married and so this month just holds a lot of significance and so I would really like to have it finished and published this month <laughs> I know that things can happen and there's not like anything set in stone that it's for sure gonna be out in April it could possibly be May but my goal is to have it done and out in April so I really hope that that happens as soon as it is finished I 100% am going to update you guys on here on Instagram on Facebook everywhere that you guys follow me and if you really ever want to know any more about it I do weekly updates over on my Instagram I try to get on my stories every day but since I have been very busy with the book um, sometimes it's like every other day that I'm on I don't know I don't because I really am just putting all of my efforts into this project and trying to make it the best that I can possibly make it. The other question I have gotten is if I am ever going to write another book and the answer to that is probably like I already have two more ideas but again it does take a long time and this has been such a long process that I think once we are finished doing this book I think I'm going to take a little break because <laughs> it's been so much but um I do, I don't know, I do think that I want to write some more. I don't know, we'll see how this goes. I mean, I truly, truly believe that I was really led to write this book and I truly believe that it is meant for multiple people out there and I truly just want to help someone else, even if it's just one person, get through what they're going through right now and come out stronger and come out with more clarity and more faith on the other side of this so i really appreciate you guys staying with my channel and sticking with me and supporting me i have so many of you who reach out to me constantly and are telling me how happy you are that i wrote this and how happy you are of how i'm doing and i honestly appreciate it so much you have no idea because i can i truly can feel the support of all of you guys thank you so much for being here please go follow me on instagram i'm on there a lot more than i am on here i would love to say that you guys will have another video next week but i don't want to promise that because i don't know maybe you will maybe you won't i love filming and i love doing youtube but it is not my full-time job so as of right now i'm just coach mom and author author is my new title so weird but it's so great i hope you guys have an amazing month welcome to april and i love you guys have a great day bye